Hello everyone, it's Gravity the Ghost, and I'm back again with uh, some uh, retro games. As you all know, each month Nintendo gives us a select amount of NES games to the Nintendo Switch Online service. But what you don't remember, or I guess forget, is that sometimes uh, on the Famicom version, which is the Japanese version of NES Online, which is actually, you can use it even if you are using an American account as your paid account, uh, you can still access these Japanese-only games. And there was actually two games that were released that were Japanese-only, and we'll be talking a look at them. So we have this Kung Fu game. I do not, uh, I don't know what the name of it is. I didn't look it up. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, I think um, when I'm, I'm looking at the top of the name, I think it says Yairu, Yairu Karate, I think. No, 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 that's not karate. <laughs> that's a uh, con, shoot. I need a, uh, uh, my, katakana, my katakana is not at the best. And then we have Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Uh, so, we're gonna start, obviously, and obviously they give us, uh, Kid Icarus and the two specials. The only reason why, uh, Star Tropics isn't there, because I actually found out, Star Tropics never came out in Japan. It was an American-only game. <laughs> so, all of my things talking about how Star Tropics was probably a Japanese take on America is not true. It was made in American houses, so, uh, whoops. Anyways, let's get to this Kung Fu game. Oh, it's Kung Fu, Yai, Yai, Yai Ara Kung Fu, so it's kind of like a fighting game, I guess? Looking at this demo, it's uh, pretty interesting, so let's play, <laughs> it's got the typical music, okay, so you're, I'm the pink guy, oh, you can do a low sweep, you can do a, a kick, you can do a punch. You know, a low punch. I'm about to die! Oh no! Oh, he's that red. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Come on. Come on. We can do it. Jump kicks. Jump kick for days. I died. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, you can kick off the wall. That's cool. Yeah. Where's this at Evo? Why isn't this at Evo? Okay, so our character's name is Lee and the other one is Wang. So I'm guessing this is a basic kung fu game where it's like you're fighting. I'm guessing being as this is stage one, you go with the multiple stages of fighters that you gotta fight. This is my, that's just my guess. Ooh, kicked him in the face. Is there a timer? I got yeeted. Alright, yeah, that's enough for that. This is going to be a shorter video because I'm not familiar with that game. However, we have Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Um, so, obviously the game is in Japanese, uh, so we obviously won't be able to fully understand this game. But, uh, there is actually a, a English version uh, that's uh, on the DS that I actually own. So, I've already been playing through this game, just the DS version. But I believe the story is pretty much exactly the same. Exact the same. Uh, but I really like the intro to this uh, to this game. The, well, at least the Famicom version. It's like Nintendo presents. 
At first, there are Dark Dragon, Fal Falchion Sword, and Fire Emblem. Gotta love that broken English, yeah? In other words, uh, these are that will, those are the only things that will be in English, by the way. <laughs> and then uh, it's just, just the race to the classes. All right, we're gonna start a new game. And I love the mu I love the I love the music in this uh, this, this version of the music. And this is Jagan. Uh, he's like the like Marth's uh, like knight or like knight or something. So I guess he's warning Marth about uh. That's Sai that's Saeda? Or is Sheeta? I don't remember how to pronounce her name. Her name's weird. Okay, so this is taking place in the middle of the like Okay, so this is like when they already meet Saeda. Okay, so it's not at the start of Shadow Dragon of the DS version. Okay. That's cool. Um Alright, who's this? Just like one of the... We can look at all the... Ah, uh, now it's coming back to me. Yeah, this is uh, the map where uh, all the bandits are coming and uh, trying to capture... Yeah. Alright. Alright, I don't know which one's... Oh yeah, this one's Mark. Oh! I'm clicking on that one. We're gonna have him move over here. This is pretty much Fire Emblem, except it's 8-bit. Uh, and I really like the music uh, for an 8-bit tune. And these two is uh, Abel and Kane, if, if I remember. Yeah, this one's Kane. The other one's, yup, see? That's, uh, that's, that's Kane. This one's Abel. And this is Shida. Yeah, literally in Japan, Japanese, the name is Shida. But for some reason, the English version of her name is Saida. I don't know even know how to pronounce that. And this is, uh... Drog? Drog? Right? That's his name, right? Yeah, D Drog. I, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. And I think that's it. Oh, that's one of the enemies. I'm guessing that to end it? Yes, because now it's the computer screen. Oh, they're fortifying you, they're uh... Yeah, look at this, look at this, look, 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 look how this guy's walking! He's like, eh! I gonna get ya! But yeah, if you can, if, now that you see that, uh, Old Time Fire Emblem is very slow. <laughs> I mean, it's a Famicom game, what do you expect? Oh yeah, and these are the bandits that, the, uh, pirates, or whatever, they can, like, walk, they can go into the water tiles. Yeah, let's say we do some attacking. Oh shoot, what did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did. Uh, I know Drog's a lance user, so... I don't even know if the weapon triangle is in this game. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, let's uh, let's just assume that maybe. That's a maybe. Pressing the wrong button. This music is. <laughs> yeah, this is basically Fire Emblem. Yeah. This guy's got a rapier. Hey look, it's Marsitil. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Basically that's pretty much Fire Emblem, uh GBA Fire well <laughs> Famicom Fire Emblem. Why does I don't know why I said GBA, but yeah, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> it's very archaic and very slow, but, I mean, it's Famicom version, what do you expect? It's not, like, going to be running at 400 frames a second or something. But, yeah, these two games are the exclusive Japanese version games uh, for the Switch Online. So, yeah, it, it, if you have a Japanese account, uh, you, can, uh, you can download the Famicom Online app, and then you can access it using your paid online account, which is really cool. Uh, uh, so, uh, if you guys wa enjoyed watching me uh, blabbing around and trying <laughs> to fumble through these menus, uh, leave a like and stuff, and comment down uh, which Famicom exclusive game you'd like to see added, or just what NES games in general you'd like to see added to the online service. So yeah, this has been Grab the Ghost, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Have a great rest of your day.